wish. Uh, hi guys, welcome back to Irrational EX. So this time I am pronouncing it right. And uh, today it's a Olympic Wednesday. So maybe it's not Wednesday because uh, now it's uh, Thursday, I think. Uh, but today we will see together a, an exercise, in particular from the Putnam competitions. Uh, we review the exercise A7 from the uh, edition of uh, 2017. So, what uh, this uh, problem asks? How many different ways to paint in red, white or blue? the edges of a icosahedron. So what is a icosahedron? I put there to you a nice picture of a icosahedron. So the edges of a icosahedron such that each face has two edges. It has, <laughs> it has two edges of the same color and one edge uh, of a different color. So for example, um, for a face, so if we have a face like this, an icosahedron is a regular polyhedra with uh, uh, 30 um, edges and 20 faces. So if a face is like this, we can, uh, um, can color it, for example, in this way. So two edges of the same color and the third edge of a different color. So this is right. If, uh, for example, we paint uh, one edge uh, in blue, the other edge in red, and the third in uh, white, this is not good because there are no uh, two edges of the same color. So this, no. Uh, we see that uh, in order to attack this problem, we need some uh, linear algebra in particular. Uh, we note that uh, our icosahedron has 30 edges and 20 faces. Okay, our red color and our blue color and also our uh, white color are the number 0, 1 and 2. So these are elements of the field F3. So now we can ask uh, how many possible colorings without these conditions um, th there are in this case. So uh, every possible color um, can be chosen uh, among uh, these uh, three numbers. There are uh, 30 edges. So we have that the set of all possible coloring is uh, our uh, F, let's say F for F3. It's our f to the 30. This is a vector space uh, with the 3 to the 30 elements. Okay, so now for every i um, in the set 1 up to 20, we give uh, a linear function on this vector space. So let us call this vector space uh, b and we give a function fi which uh, uh, goes from v which goes from v to uh, f and so what these sums do uh, essentially takes uh, a v which is a set of colorings of uh, our edges and um, it uh, gives us fi of v which is defined as the sum modulo 3 because we are in f3 of uh, um, of the corresponding color in the height phase. So uh, this is a set, is a um, 30 upel, I don't know how to say, uh, it's something like um, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, 2, for example. We take uh, uh, the height phase, so height phase is, uh, uh, is determined by uh, three edges, so, for example, uh, one edge of the face is here, one other is here, and one other is here. And if this is the height face, we take the sum uh, in F3. So, for example, we take 2 plus 1 plus 0. And so this gives us an element of F. This, in particular, is a linear form on the vector space B. 
we can glue them uh, to form the more natural function, which goes from uh, f, let us call it, which goes from v to f to the 20, such that to every possible coloring of uh, edges gives us f1 of v up to f20 of v. Okay, so this uh, uh, is, is a linear map from a vector space over f of dimension uh, 30 to a vector space over f of dimension 20. First thing, um, what is the, the cardinality of the kernel? So, by uh, the linear algebra, more standard theorem, we have that the dimension over f of uh, v is equal to the dimension over f of care of f plus the dimension over f of the image of f. Now, uh, the dimension over f of v is uh, exactly um, 30, because v is uh, k, in this case, is f to the 30. So this is 30. If we are able to prove that uh, this map is uh, surjective, then the dimension of the image is uh, the whole uh, f to the 20, so it has dimension 20. In particular, this implies that the dimension of the kernel is exactly 10. So the uh, kernel of f is a 10-dimensional vector subspace of v. Uh, now our goal is to prove that this f is exactly surjective. So, in order to prove that our f, let us recall it from v, which is f to the 30, from f to the 20, is subjective, we can show that uh, all the vectors of the form uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, where 1 is uh, at the place i, for every i from 1 to 20, it is uh, in the image of f. To do this, uh, by symmetry, we fix a vertex of our icosahedron, and uh, to every vertex we attach exactly the five edges. So we see, like from uh, uh, from the upside, and these are the faces. Now let us call v1, v2 v3, v4, and v5, the other edges of the faces, and we consider this particular coloring. So we take, for example, red, corresponding to the color 2, we take uh, uh, 1, corresponding to the color blue, then we take also uh, 2 here, and we take uh, one and one. So this in particular uh, is a coloring of uh, the edges uh, around V. Now we want to uh, give the color zero to all these edges. So uh, zero in particular is the color white, so I indicate zero, 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 zero. And the last edge, we want to color it also in blue. Okay, the other edges are colored uh, with zero. So all the other are zero. Now we want to show that uh, um, this function uh, for this uh, specific uh, coloring of the edges is always zero. In fact, uh, uh, for example, in this phase, uh, we have to sum uh, the coloring, so we have 0 plus 1 plus 2, which is equal to 0 mod 3. In this phase is 0 plus 1 plus 2, which is equal to 0, and so on. All the other phases in particular are, are all coloring with 0, so also these phases are 0. This phase is 0 because it's 1 plus 1 plus 1. So the only phase that uh, is not zero is this particular phase, where uh, this is another vertex going uh, inside of the board. 
this we know that it's uh, zero on this edge, zero on, on uh, this edge, and one in this edge. This gives us uh, zero plus zero plus one, which is equal to one. Uh, in particular, we show from symmetry that uh, the function f is surjective. Now that we have shown that the function is surjective, we can conclude because from our construction it's uh, easy to see that the image of um, our coloring, so the coloring in which uh, two edges are equal uh, colored and the third is different, uh, is a subset of F20 given by um, all the coordinates different from zero. So the set uh, A in F20 a uh, is uh, the set 1, 2 to the 20, so all the points which uh, uh, have no coordinate 0, and uh, the set of coloring is exactly the pre image of A. Okay, finally, we want to um, compute uh, the cardinality of f to minus 1 of A. This is, uh, uh, since f is a linear map, is the cardinality of A times the cardinality of care of f. But now, the cardinality of A, since A is uh, the set 1, 2 to the 20, is exactly 2 to the 20. While the cardinality of care of F, since uh, this is a linear map and the kernel is a vector subspace of dimension 10 of uh, F to the 30, is exactly 3 to the 10. So, this finish uh, our problem and uh, uh, the set of all possible coloring as uh, uh, 2 to the 20 times 3 to the 10 elements. Okay guys, so we answered the problem. The set of all possible coloring is this. And uh, for today we finish here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the like button. And for every doubt, uh, maybe some uh, advices, uh, write it in the comments. And uh, what, uh, what else? We see uh, soon for another problem and for another math contest solution. Stay tuned. Bye, guys.